Well, I'm excited today. We're back in the kitchen and we love cooking here. So today we're tackling fish. I know a lot of people are afraid to cook fish because I've messed it up myself. And we're here with Chef Lou Schwartz. How are you? Good, how are you? From the Classic Cooking Classic Academy. Classic Cooking Academy, yes. Okay, great. Fish, like I said, I've messed it up many times. Yes, yes. That's kind of like steak. That's not good. Yes. A lot of people <laughs> overcook it. A lot of people, uh, when they eat fish, they, they say, well, it's, it's too, it has that fishy smell. It has that yeah, the fishy flavor. That usually becomes uh, it, they overcook it or they buy fish that's <coughs> not uh, fresh. Mm -hmm. So well, rubbery. <laughs> exactly, exactly. It's, it's usually overcooking. So yeah. the most important thing is to cook it, you know, last minute and yep. uh, to not overcook it. Okay, great. So a little underdone and it's fine. So you can cook this ahead of time and uh, if you have a lot of a family coming over, a, a lot of pieces, but we're going to do something for just like one. We're going to do this for one, but okay. we can do this for many. And okay. uh, this is called, uh, we're using a Pacific cod, uh, but uh, it's called cod and papillot, which French for meaning in paper. Okay. So we have a little bit of uh, parchment paper here. So what we're going to do is we're going to julienne these vegetables. We have some red bell pepper, zucchini, celery, mm. green onion. Fresh. Uh, fresh. All fresh. Fresh thyme, uh, parsley, a little bit of lemon and uh, garlic. So we're going to put that all inside of there. Love that. Uh, so we're going to start by chopping our veggies okay. here. I've already got a little you bit of a cod or do you have a What's you your can preference? Use, you can use any kind of fish. Uh, depending on the, the thickness of your fish will depend upon how long you actually cook this in the oven. So if we're using a relatively thin fish. Uh, this is going to go about 8 to 10 minutes in the uh, preheated. That's thin? That's thin. Okay. Fairly thin. <laughs> big pieces, well, but that's fine. I, I got a big appetite, so maybe that's okay, thin that's for fine. me. But uh, so, like I said, 8 to 10 minutes, mm -hmm. 350 degree oven. Um, so we're just going to julienne all of our vegetables here and we're going to wrap this all into our paper and uh, we're just going to use a little bit of extra virgin olive oil to kind of coat our fish. Salt and pepper obviously, uh, we want it to taste good. And then uh, we're going to add a little bit of wine right before we uh, pop this into in the, the oven, uh, in the oven okay. and then uh, we're good to go. Good. So some okay. uh, zucchini here, we're just going to Nice. Like I said, just a few slices of this. And we're you good gotta to have go. a sharp knife for this. Absolutely have to have a sharp Make knife. Sure it's sharp. The sharper, the better. Actually, uh, if you have a dull knife, you uh, chances are you're gonna wind up cutting yourself mm -hmm. uh, even worse than you would with a with a sharp knife. So there always you keep your knife sharp. Something uh, something to remember. Exactly. So a little bit of garlic. We don't want to overpower it with our garlic. So one <laughs> clove of garlic will do just fine. Yes, if you're just one. The the Italian uh, persuasion loves that a little bit okay, of extra and this garlic. Is the thyme? That is the fresh thyme, wow. and uh, this is the fresh Italian parsley. So we're just gonna chop this up. That takes practice. That does. That take takes practice. a lot of practice. <laughs> I haven't gotten there yet. So and that's that's why you come to the cooking school. There you go. There you go. That's exactly school. it. That's ex it's it. So. Green onion, mm. and this dish, like I said, you can prepare this ahead of time. You know, if you're going to do a party of eight, ten people, you can actually do all of this prep ahead of time, and then uh, when your guests arrive and it's time for dinner, you just pop the entire sheet tray into the uh, into the oven, and uh, you're good to go. And uh, let it bake. And then That's good to it. know because everybody's so worried about taking so much time to prepare food and, exactly. and that's our whole society and exactly. we want to get away from that. Exactly. Enjoy your food. So if you want to go ahead and season the uh, the fish. No, I don't want to overdo this now. Nope. Just uh, both sides. Season both, both sides, sides of the fish. Yeah, a little salt, a little okay. pepper on both sides. I like a lot of pepper so. There you go. A little bit more of that. Let me uh, flip that over. Yeah, a little bit more. Okay. Okay. And then uh, we'll flip that over. I'm learning. I'm learning. And you want to serve this, you can see this is the, uh, the skin side. We want to serve it the other way around. It looks presentation wise, it looks okay. a whole lot nicer. Okay. Perfect. Right. So now we're going to take our veggies, place it right uh -huh. into the center of our parchment paper. Yep. Thank you. And then we're going to take our fish. Like I said, this is going to be the presentation side. So everybody wants to see the, so you the nice pretty fish. 
Yep, set it right on top of it. Okay. So then we're going to put our sliced lemons right back on uh, here. Uh, and then we're going to mm -hmm. put the uh, fresh thyme. And we can kind of just break this up a little bit and get it onto the fish itself right there. A little fiber with the wood. Exactly. <laughs> a little bit of uh, extra virgin olive oil. Mm. Do not be afraid to use that. And you got to have oil. I mean, people are trying to get away from it, but that's the type you want. That's, that, yeah, that's the extra virgin so. olive oil is exactly what we're looking for. Okay. So we're going to actually, let's turn it that way. Make it easier to fold. So that looks good right into there just like that and then before we finish wrapping it we're going to add a little bit of uh, white wine mm -hmm. so we're going to fold this All as right. you can see this way and then just continue to fold around just like this kind of holding it right over top of each uh, uh, itself it's like a pot sticker Pink more one. or less yeah <laughs> giant uh, big like. giant pot sticker so <laughs> as you can see when we get to the end here okay. what we have here is a nice little open okay. mouth this is where we're going to pour our wine and do this last minute. So when we're getting ready to have the okay. guests arrive, we're going to pour a little bit of white wine. Not much. We don't need much in there. Save the rest of it for drinking. <laughs> it's good. It's healthy. Your doctor day. always That's says right. you can have two glasses of wine every day, right? That's right. That's right. So when we get done, we're going to place this right onto you said our... about how many minutes? For this, this one? This one, about the 8 to 10 minutes. Uh, okay. If it's a thicker piece of uh, fish, like I said, salmon or anything else like that, it would be about 12 minutes, 15 minutes tops. But you want to check it once in a while, too, and you said... Yeah, you can, you can touch and see if it's nice and it has nice give, then okay. it, the fish is pretty much cooked the whole way okay. through. Um, and then, you know, just pull it out of the oven, let it sit, and then uh, just unwrap it. Take the, 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 the fattest one that you have and, and check and see if it's okay. done. That's well, that, I mean, that's know. easy. Yeah. And, and it's healthy. That's what's it's most healthy. important it's here. Uh, it's good nutrition. for you. Yeah, exactly it. And it looks and, uh, very good, too. And we have one ready. Yep. Because otherwise we'd be coming back and forth. But here we this go. This is a nice hot one. Right. So we're going to grab our plate here. Okay. And we'll just looks take good. this out of the way. And plop. Pop the whole right thing on there? Yep. Yeah, plop it right on there. We serve it paper and all. Ooh. That is nice and warm. And, and what we're going to do is we're going to open this up. And this is what you'll do when you present this to your guests, is open it up just like this. The steam, the aromas are going to really come out and just... Ooh, that does smell good. It gets, your, uh, gets the juices so flowing. It makes you really hungry once that opens up. You know, mm -hmm. it's, it's a wonderful dish. It's very, very healthy. The vegetables are barely cooked through. And that's so what you don't, you don't want to overcook, which most of us do. Never want to overcook and any of the... Because you lose all the flavor when right, you overcook. Right, exactly so. it, exactly it. So all the nutrients are there. Uh, they're cooked, but it's not overly done. It's not mushy uh, vegetables, you mm -hmm. know, like grandma used to make. And <laughs> so, I mean, this is, this is good stuff. Well, I want to taste it. It looks good. Absolutely. Let me Let's grab a couple of forks here for us. I love this part. <laughs> This is always fun. Okay. So go ahead. You want to grab a piece? I will grab a piece from here. I want some vegetables. And the veggies too. Yeah, Is there absolutely. any garlic in there somewhere? Oh, Aww. that's in there. It's down there. Here we go. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> They're all looking hungry out there. <laughs> well, Chef, Chef Lou, thanks a lot. Thanks, sir. It was sir. very good. And we're, if they want to learn this and get some more recipes, they can go to my website at uh, www.loopdeloo.com. Loopdeloo.com. Loop Seriously. Loop. Yep. Awesome. That's a hard to forget. So It's hard to forget. The crew's hungry. I'm hungry. I'm going to need some more. So let's go. This was let's very see. good. It was not very difficult to do. No, exactly. Not really. Anybody can do it. Mm.